imagine niyo na lang ah. This is the entry door. Entry door, main door. <laughs> everyone we're back at the project site and I promised to give you a tour last week but I was unwell and I couldn't do it so we're just gonna do it today and I can only tour you on the ground floor because I don't know if I can climb this the ladder <laughs> on the second floor everyone is up up there um, and they're working on the roof Lord willing we'll be able to finish it this week please pray with us for good weather and Marika, pasok tayo. So basically, everyone stopped working on the ground floor this week because we have to finish the roof. But they're done with the lintel beam. Remember the beam Albert was talking to you about last week? So this is the entry porch. We opted for big windows because we want plenty of sunlight to come into the house. So this is the entry porch. This is the main door. Imagine na lang. This is the entry door. Entry door, main door. <laughs> okay, di ako makapag-isip ngayon eh. And then when you enter the house, there's a the stairwell, the staircase is here, and then it leads to the second floor. There is a small powder room on this side, and then this is the living area. Remember the insulation we were talking about last week, so. There were no 10 mm, 10 mm double-sided insulation available uh, at City, City Hardware yesterday. So we just had to buy the 5 mm because the team has to install the roof today or tomorrow. So, yun na lang, yun na lang, wala na kaming choice. And then this is the hallway. Right to my left is the pocket garden that I've been telling you about for the past weeks now and I'll tell you the backstory on this pocket garden later let's just proceed with the tour so here there will be a small section here where we'll put a cabinet for storage because the kitchen is so small there's not a lot of storage so initially this was supposed to be a place to sit here and outside but the thing is since we don't have much storage in the kitchen we'll just put a cabinet here or perhaps we'll put a, a small sofa here that has storage underneath and then storage on top we don't know yet we'll see sorry for the noise uh, everyone's working so i wore a mic i hope the audio is okay and as you enter you'll find the dining hall if you notice the house is irregularly shaped no so merong Isang malit na section for the dining area, may isang malit na section for the for the stairs. Bakit naging ganon? Di ko rin alam. <laughs> but naging ganon. So now, um, this is the dining area, and since it's a Google Home, everyone who will eat here are, is not allowed to use their phone. So, um, merong merong parang table kung saan when you're in the dining area you'll put all your phones there and you're there just to eat and talk and have fun and have quality time so yun so this one is closed that part is the door to the lanai and this is the glass so that you can still see the pocket garden and then opposite the dining area is the room the only room here downstairs it's a guest room but we're reserving it for my mom in case she decides to retire here in the Philippines. She's already 60 and in the future if she decides to retire in the Philippines, we reserved a room here downstairs for her so that she won't have to climb the stairs. So sa kanya na to, it has it uh it has its own toilet and bath. So the size is 3 meters by 3 meters. Okay na rin. Um Hindi siya super laki, pero pwede na siya for one person. Actually, yung kwarto nga dun sa apartment, sakto na sa aming dalawa ni Abit eh. So, it has a big window as well. Um, marami pang gamit, so hindi nyo pa siya ma-appreciate. Pagka ano na lang, finishing. Yan. And then, her own toilet and bath. Imagine nyo lang ulit. <laughs> 
Okay, so after that, punta tayo sa kitchen. Now, the quit kitchen is quite small. Why? Because during the design phase, I didn't really... Like I told you before, I don't have a sense of space. So, this is the kitchen. Yan. May maliit lang tayo na L-shaped counter. And then, we have a panoramic window because we want to see what's on the outside. It's always like that. Parang you want to incorporate the outside in. But, meron ka pa rin barrier. Meron pa rin isang, uh, may barrier ka pa rin. So, this one's closed. We could have put a window here, but sobrang dami na mahal na yun masyado. Uh, but outside, there will be a lanai. There will be a hanging uh, sofa. Parang duyan na sofa. Mahaba. Lord willing, kaya pa ng budget. Hopefully, I'll be able to tour you once they're done with the finishing. By the way, we are thinking of of finishing this room first, yung bedroom downstairs. Why? Because uh, Albert is busy with his rackets right now. So apart from the house, he's also designing some houses for friends and some clients. So we're thinking of finishing this uh, uh, room first and converting it into a small office, temporary office for now, so that while he's working, he can still supervise and oversee the work that's do going on here. And then he does stocks as well, so he, he needs to monitor them. So, para siyang site office, but temporary lang. I can also be here, I can work. Not really work, I can do some writing projects and then help him in uh, in the process so yun we'll see we're praying about it and we hope no mag work yung ganon we'll see so i just told them that we are trying to finish this room first uh, yes so we can uh, use it for temporarily mm. as a office mm. so pwede tayong mag work dito mm -hmm. for the meantime mm -hmm. Palagyan lang natin siya ng mga outlet extension wire. Mm -hmm. So, pwede magsaksak ng computer, mag-charge ng mga mobile phone. Mm -hmm. Pero kompleto na. As in, kwarto na talaga siya. Pwede ba yun? Pwede ba na may isang kwartong tapos na, tapos the rest of the house hindi pa? Pwede. pwede. Sorry ah, pagalaw-galaw yung asawa ko eh. <laughs> ah, pwede. So, pwede, pwede ba? Pwede. Okay. Pa pa paano yun hindi siya masisira? Pagka naka-finish na, naka-tiles na? So, i-install na rin yung kubeta and all that? We lost another morning this week because of the rain. The team had to stop work on the roof again. But praise God because it didn't rain the whole day. The rain clouds were gone by afternoon. Praise God for the good weather and for our team. So they have started moving all the roofing materials here to get everything ready for tomorrow. So si Ondo yung nag ano tayos. Whoa, paano? Good morning everyone, it's Friday and we got here at the project site early because we are starting with the roof and I'm so pumped. I hope the guys are too. So, medyo excited kami na finally we can work on the roof. Thank you Lord for the good weather. We praise you for being so faithful. So, yan. Sana magtuloy-tuloy ngayon hanggang bukas. If ever man mag hanggang next week kasi malaki talaga yung buhay so we'll see Salamat Lord salamat po sa panibagong umaga na tinagawin po sa amin Salamat Lord for the good dress na binigay niyo po sa bawat isa And today Lord you extend our lives once again Salamat Lord ito po ay dahil lamang sa inyong biyaya sa inyong hawa sa inyong habag Salamat Lord dahil hindi po kayo nagukulang sa aming buhay so despite po ng may crisis, ay ipatuloy niyo po ang pinuprovide yung anong pangailangan. Mm. Salamat Lord because you are our God, you are faithful God Panginoon, and mm. you are a powerful God. And today Lord, we would like to commit to you yung aming pong trabaho, especially Panginoon, na magnatrabaho kami sa bubong. Lord, we commit to you ang bawat sa Panginoon na mm. aakit po doon na mag-insult po ng bubong. Lord, kayo pong mag-ingat. 
uh, magbabay Panginoon na wawalang aksidente, walang mapahamak at mm-hmm. bigyan niyo kami ng magandang panahon Panginoon sa araw na ito na hindi po umulan. And salamat Lord sa buhay ng bawat sa kay Kuya Dani, kay Kuya Mario, kay Mike, kay June, kay Undo, kay Wang Yuan, kay Evan Panginoon. Lord, we pray that this project will be a blessing to them. Ganun mm-hmm. sa kanila mga pamilya that through this project Panginoon ay mapunan po yung kanilang mga pangailangan Panginoon at patunyo ni pagpalain ng kanilang mga alusugan mm-hmm. dahil yung po sila ng mga sakit or karamdaman maging yung kanilang mga pamilya Panginoon. Salamat Lord and we commit to you the rest of the day. Be with us Panginoon and we would like to give you the highest praise in honor. Yes, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you Lord. Thank you. Yung aming mga Spider-Man ay nagumpisa na. Ayaw nila magtali dahil sa gabal daw. Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit. Pero... Hindi mapilit. <laughs> oh gosh. Ito si Peter Parker. Hi, Ivan. <laughs> si Spider-Man. Lahat sila ngayon mga Spider-Man. The roofing process is as follows. Cut the insulation according to the length of the section it will cover. Place the insulation on top of the zipper links. Then, lay the tile span on top of the insulation, covering half of it lengthwise. Screw both on the zipper links. Remember to always start from the middle of the roof, moving laterally as you progress. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our new subscribers, Jayla Yo, Kapanga, Masayu Amran, Adi Credor, Marife Corrado, Raymond Banwa, and Jemima Sese. Shukran Jazilan or thank you as well to my former colleague and good friend, Prince Ali, Ali Al Shuk. I don't know how you found our channel, but thank you, thank you, dear Ali. Ito ako sa taas. Tignan itong makiyat. Ah, nakakatakot pala. Oh. Pero sila, ano na, sanay na sila. So... Lord, please keep our team safe. Pero ang ganda ng morning. Ang ganda, tinan nyo. Ayan. Ang ganda ng weather. Thank you, Lord. Ito ang view, ah, sa baba. Ganyan siya kataas. <laughs> Nag-shake yung kawayan. <laughs> Engineer Abbott is on the roof as well to check the installation. We left the site for a family gathering and came back in the afternoon. Wow, it's almost 4 in the afternoon and sa harap na sila ngayon. Ang aming mga Spider-Man. Ah, galing, galing, galing. Praise God, praise God. Mike is now tied to a lifeline so he can access the steeper parts of the roof. He's in charge of fully screwing the tile span on the steeper lens. Hello everyone! Good afternoon! It's Saturday, the last day of the work week. And the guys, the team is done installing 70% of the roof and the insulation. I think they'll be finished by Monday or Tuesday next week because we're stopping work at 3 p.m. to give them time to rest because they worked overtime last night. I would like to thank everyone who prayed with us for a good weather and for the safety of our team and obviously I would like to praise and thank the Lord for for all his favor throughout the week. It's quite windy here, I like it. <laughs> um, thank you as well to everyone who watched my, our last video. I posted a video interview by Ayan Gonzaga or Boy Dubai. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll put the link down below. And I also would like to thank all our new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for the trust and thank you for, for your support. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, come up with a series. Actually, that's already in the in the can. No? We're planning to have a series on how, how to buy land. Kasi may mga nagtatanong sa amin, mga OFWs, especially Lizzie and Mikael from Sweden. 
they're asking us how we were able to buy this land and yung lupa dun sa apartment. So we thought maybe if they're asking, maybe there are other OFWs who are curious as well and who plan to buy land but don't know how or yung they don't know the ins and outs of, of buying land in Palawan. So we'll try to fill you in on that but I would like to ask for you to drop your questions in the comment section below if you have any questions so we can answer them and I'll talk to real estate agents and some experts so we can share with you um, uh, important details and of course our experience when we bought our our, our property so thank you again to everyone thank you for your time and thank you for watching our video see you next week